Oh. So this is uh, Kyungsung University. This is pretty much what's behind our building, um, or close to our building, anyway. These are the dorms, I believe. And then the classrooms are further back that way. But yeah, I like to take Isabel here every now and then, just to walk her around. There's lots of grass here, so she gets to play in some grass, especially over there. But um, yeah, this university's campus is actually really nice, surprisingly. I didn't know that this was a very well-known university. You wanna get in the grass? Isabel really loves grass, so it's nice that I can kind of take her out up here so she can do her standard face mushing and stuff. But those stairs just kill me every time. I hate stairs. Yeah, this is the little area that I like to let her roam around in. I don't know if I'm allowed to, of course, but I do it anyway. Nobody's really said anything to me yet, so should be fine. Pretty empty today, probably because it's summer break. Isabel, you wanna go play in the grass? Is that a no? Or is that a yes? You wanna go up in this grass? Let's, let's go over to that grass over there, come on. Let's go over to the big grass, come on. Let's go. Let's go to the big grass. I think she must be a little tired today or something. Whoa, never mind. <laughs> That is the face of a happy dog right there. All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Bubby's Fat Loss series. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro segment of my little walk with Isabel today. I say little, but I usually walk her for around like 20 minutes. We went pretty far today. We went up to the Kyungsung University campus, as I mentioned, and I think she really enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it, Isabel? She doesn't like the camera. But uh, yeah, I think she enjoyed it. She's pretty tired. Do you wanna go eat your food? You wanna go eat your lunch? No? No, you don't want to? You want snacks, don't you? Yeah, she probably wants some like dental snacks or something. But anyway, yeah, today was my upper body day. So I got a pretty nice pump going. Ooh. I am pretty tired for on top of uh, doing cardio this morning, and then my workout, and then a little bit of a longer walk today. I'm pretty, uh, pretty out of breath, uh, which is maybe not a good thing, but maybe also a good thing in the sense that I, I got a good amount of exercise in today, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit more cardio. I gotta walk to the grocery store today and buy some vegetables, and I'm just giving myself a little bit of a break cool down a little bit and then head back out to go buy some veggies. In the meantime though, this morning I weighed in at a low body weight of 96.2 kilograms. Super, super, super excited. Uh, that just means I need another 1.2 to go. Uh, that's a little bit over two pounds and I will hit my goal weight of 95 kilograms. I do want to try to push it down to like 93.5 or 94, but maybe like I said before, that'll come down the line. I'm gonna chill out for a bit, cook my lunch, and then show you guys some clips of what kind of vegetables I might get at the grocery store. 
All right, so I am inside a local 24 hour grocery store. And uh, believe it or not, I was hoping that they would have some kind of kiwi, uh, either, you know, gold or, you know, green is fine too, but they actually did have kiwis. That honestly shocked me. So just a bunch of drinks over here. Not gonna get any drinks or anything. Bunch of snacks and stuff. That's a negative for me. Let's see. But yeah, all the uh, actual produce and stuff is all over there and they don't actually have a great selection of vegetables, which is kind of unfortunate, but I'll probably just do what I can in the vegetable department. I do have kimchi at home, so I could just eat that, but I'd rather have like, you know, broccoli and stuff, but they only have like one head of broccoli here, which is definitely not enough. And it's just a bunch of mushroom, cabbage. So that's kind of unfortunate, but honestly, what are you gonna do? I do have carrots, so I could eat carrots. You know what, actually that doesn't sound like a bad idea. And these are all like less than a dollar basically, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go with carrots for sure. Okay, so I'm back from the grocery store and it makes me really sad when it's hotter in this room than it is outside. Oh my God, living up high on a higher up floor it is just so incredibly, incredibly hot. It, it is ridiculous how hot it is in here. But anyway, let me just show you. I, I only got a couple things. At first, uh, I saw this this cheese. This ch uh, it's like white cheddar, I think. Yeah, white cheddar. So the macros on here are actually listed, which is really surprising. But yeah, it's got five grams of fat and 4.3 grams of protein. So that's actually pretty good. So it's almost a one-to-one -one on here. So I'm gonna be putting this in my curry, giving it a little bit more flavor. I also got some carrots. So I'll be putting this in my curry as well. I only got two because I'm pretty much just going to eat some kimchi for my vegetables. And also, I already showed you guys what I got the kiwis, so I'm gonna be eating these probably like two a day, I would say. Just because I don't want them to go bad. So I'm gonna stick this in the fridge as soon as possible. And lastly, um, my makeshift bag was actually this little stool. So I got I got this little stool for for us. Uh, it's a little shower stool. In Asia, it's typical for those of you who don't know to kind of sit down to shower. Uh, you don't have the water running all the time. You pretty much just get yourself all nice and wet from the shower and then scrub down your body and then rinse it off so the water's not running the whole time. But yeah, this is a little stool so you can kind of sit down and Typically you'll, you'll have a stool to sit on and also a bucket full of water to use, but I didn't really feel like buying a bucket, so just got the stool itself. Anyway, I am gonna go stick this in the fridge real quick, and then we'll talk about the workout. All right, so for the workout today, I mentioned already it was an upper body day for me, and since it was more of a bodybuilding kind of day, I pretty much decided that I wanted to do four sets of eight for all of my exercises for the day. And I liked using the four sets of eight rep range just cause it feels good and also gives me an excuse to go heavier and you know, work my ego a little bit. But anyway, the first exercise of the day was the lat pull down. And I went a little bit heavier today. I pretty much maxed out the stack and in this clip here, uh, this is my fourth set, so this is the full stack on the lat pull down. I didn't manage to get all eight reps, but that's okay. Eight reps is pretty much what you're shooting for, and you just try your best to get to eight reps. 
And for me, I like going to failure on my last set. Um, not all the time, just just some of the time, because it's really good for hypertrophy. But anyway, I am using straps today, uh, just so that I can focus more on the actual heavy lifting. The second exercise of the day was the high row, so I kind of jerry-rigged this a little bit. I grabbed the flat bench and put it directly behind the actual seat for the lat pull down and you'll see that I'm pretty much sitting on the flat bench and leaning back so that I can get a little bit more high row action and this actually surprisingly felt really really good the only problem was once it started getting heavy in this clip that you see here uh, I had a problem where the weight wanted to pull me forward so I put my foot up on the uh, actual lat pull down itself and that sort of fixed the problem but with this, you know, I'm thinking of it as an in-between vertical pull and horizontal pull and really just concentrating on getting nice scapular retraction while at the same time getting really nice shoulder extension. The third exercise was the machine low row and for this exercise, um, you know, the weight stack, the selectorizer, it actually isn't nearly heavy enough for me, so four sets of eight was a little bit too light for me. Uh, this is my very first set. I'm pretty much uh, utilizing the entire weight stack here. And I like to set myself into position first and then start my rows. But again, you know, it was kind of light. So for the next three sets, I used the same weight because it was already maxed out and used it without straps because, well, I needed to make the exercise a little bit harder. The last pulling exercise of the day, exercise number four, was the barbell row, uh, barbell bent over row, however really you want to call it. It's basically, you know, you, you can call it whatever you want. Uh, I did go a little bit heavy on this today, worked up to a top set of 110 kilograms, and I'm trying not to cheat as much as possible, but with the barbell row, you know, I can row a ton but I can't row a ton with good form. And so, yeah, I'm just really trying to minimize cheating as much as possible. I did get gassed about at rep five or so, and I had to take a little bit of a break. But in any case, hitting the barbell row last instead of first, so hitting this heavy compound last instead of first was a little bit weird for me. And I don't think I liked it, so I will probably not do this again in the future. Only reason I did was because somebody was using the rack and so I decided to just do my vertical pulls first. That completes the pulling exercises onto the pushing exercises. Uh, exercise number five, we got the incline dumbbell press and with this I am actually doing unilateral presses. So basically I'm just pressing with one arm first and then the other arm after. And again, with this, I do like to make exercise harder. I, I like making exercises harder when I can't go up in weight. Uh, that sort of balances out that, you know, RPE, that, you know, that amount of volume. But yeah, this is a good way to hit any chest exercise, get that nice time under tension going. Right after that, I went into some incline dumbbell flies, and with this, um, I don't really like doing the fly with um, with a neutral grip. So I don't like flying with a neutral grip and then coming all the way back and then up. I find that that kind of hurts a little bit. So what I do is I go about 45 degrees instead of neutral, and I find that one, I can still activate my fibers or my chest pretty well, and two, it doesn't hurt as much so I can go a little bit heavier on this exercise. Third exercise was some dumbbell press on the flat bench, and since there's only 25 kilogram dumbbells here, I did put my feet up on the bench so that I could get a little bit more chest activation and kind of minimize leg drive to press the weight up. I am also pausing a little bit at the bottom here 
just to make it a little bit harder since you know 25 kilogram dumbbells are pretty light I probably should have uh, done a higher rep range here but since I was already doing 4x8 for everything I just got lazy and just said you know what, I'll just do 4x8 and the last exercise that I did was the pec fly on the fly machine that they have at the apartment gym which I, I kind of like this machine but I kind of also don't like this machine it's alright I don't actually like doing flies with my arms straight up so my fist pointing towards the ceiling I do prefer to do my flies you know with my fists out so that's why you see me here doing my flies this way uh, with my fists pointing out in front of me instead of towards the ceiling I find that it's a lot easier for me to activate my chest this felt pretty good and with this I also maxed out the weight stack because it just wasn't heavy enough for me but in any case yeah that uh, finishes out the workout after that I just did some very simple um, ab crunches on the ab crunch machine and honestly I probably should have done 200 reps instead of 100 reps today just because the ab crunch machine it's not really heavy enough again it's not heavy enough so I couldn't really get a nice uh, burn in my abs today so I probably will end up going back down tonight uh, when I have to go meet my client and then do sit-ups instead so that's all for today I do got a client later today like I mentioned gonna get a quick lunch in before my client gets here thank you all so much for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below if you want to get into online coaching email me at the barbell bear at gmail.com before you leave don't forget to click that like button and the subscribe button so you don't miss future videos. Uh, the subscriber numbers are steadily creeping up towards that 250 mark. I really want to see if I can get to 250 below. Um, <clears throat> I want to see if I can get to 250 before the end of the year. My stretch goal would be 300, but I will be satisfied with 250. That's a quarter of a thousand. Maybe one day in the future, I will get to that you know thousand mark that 10,000 mark even anyway that's all I got for today I'll talk to you guys tomorrow